Hey guys, what's going on? I'm currently traveling right now. I'm in Miami, so I'm using a microphone that I took with me on the trip. So if the quality sounds bad, I apologize, but I'll be home tomorrow, so everything will be back to normal. However, I've noticed online that a lot of fans are talking about how Balin Skull has Orobish writing on his wrist. And we can see it in this photo here, and a lot of fans have gone to actually decipher what it means, and it's just names. It's names of Luke, Leia, Han, Chewie, R2-D2, C-3PO, and Ben. So obviously Ben in this one, I think, is probably Ben Solo, as this would be the time when Ben would be like a little infant boy, and I don't think it has anything to do with Obi-Wan Kenobi, because he probably would have just written Obi-Wan. I think this is potentially one of two things. It's either a hit list, a list of the Jedi and the people that he has to take out, being Luke, and the next Force Sensitive in line, which would be Ben. Leia doesn't really train, so she's not really a threat at the moment, because if she were to train, it would take her quite a while. I think this is either a hit list, which he He's probably going to try and fulfill as much as he can. Or it's perhaps a thank you list. You know, I think a lot of people are saying, you know, this is a hit list and this is, you know, who's, who Balin's is going to go after now. But it could very well just be a list of people that he wants to meet for various different reasons. Personally, I don't think he was really all that happy with the Empire. Otherwise, I believe he would have been around more. The way he talks about how Anakin destroyed the temple, how he talks about how the temple was deceived and he didn't understand it at the time. and He was so angry and didn't get it. I feel like that would have a lot of crossover into his life today as the dark Jedi that he is or the whatever in between that he is. I think he used to have a either yellow lightsaber or maybe even green and now with the blue a yellow and red sort of shift which goes to orange. I believe he has the names of the main characters from the original trilogy because he's probably so angry at Anakin that he just wants to get as much revenge as he can for Anakin killing perhaps the younglings. And I think maybe Anakin killed Balin's apprentice at the temple or killed his Padawan or killed one of the younglings that Balin was going to train eventually, you know, once a few years passed. And I think for Balin, the way he was expressing this to not only Ahsoka, but also to Shin Hati when she was saying, do you miss it? And he said he misses the idea of it, but not the weakness, not the truth. And I think what he means by this is that, you know, the Jedi themselves were very self-righteous and the idea of trusting in the Force and being one with the Force is a beautiful idea, beautiful concept, but that's it. It's just an idea if they don't actually stick to it. And I think Balin was, frankly, just really sick and tired of the Jedi constantly bending their knees to politics and becoming soldiers and not so much keepers of the peace. I think these names are perhaps for him to get even with Anakin, with Vader. Even though he knows Vader is dead, I think he just absolutely loathed Anakin for destroying the Jedi Temple, killing all of the younglings, all of Balin's friends, and then going on to become Darth Vader, where, you know, I really don't think Balin would have matched him at at all, especially at the time that he was the age he was. So I'd love to know what you guys think about this theory. Why does Balin have these names in his gauntlet? What's the significance of it? Is he going to, you know, try and bring them down or is he just going to let them go on or kind of keep tabs on them? Maybe some people have hired him as a bounty hunter. Who knows, really? But I thought this was pretty interesting if this was actually the case, but I guess we'll later find out and see perhaps either this season or the second season. Thanks so much for watching today. Sorry for the bad microphone quality, and I'll see you all in the next one. Until then, remember, the Force will be with you always.